In this video, I want to show you how to make a random number in Microsoft Excel. Uh, for a long time, the, only, the uh, way to do it was to use a function that's called rand. So I'll say equals rand, open parentheses, close parentheses, and it doesn't really have uh, any parameters within the parentheses, but the parentheses are still necessary. Now what it does, it gives you a, a number between 0 and 1. It gives you a decimal number between 0 and 1. So if I copy that down, then notice how all the cells would have a different number. Now what you would do is uh, maybe multiply that number by 100 or 1,000. So I'll say equals this times 100. Copy that down. And then I would take the integer part of that. Uh, I'll say, or we could do it all in one formula. I'll say equals um, int or integer of that times 100 and you can see I have a random number between 0 and 100 for all of them all the way down and it worked very nicely so the first thing we did there was we used a rand function it gives you a number between 0 and 1 and you multiply that perhaps by a hundred or a thousand or something like that and then here I have another, you know, whole numbers between 0 and 100. Now they have a new function that's even better. It's called ran between. So we'll say equals ran between. So now you can be more specific. Uh, I'm going to hit the uh, open parentheses. So let's say I want a random number between 0 and 1000. I'll type in 0, comma, 1000. So at this point, now you see it works a little bit better because it gives you a whole number and you can specify the range. And now if I copy that all the way down, we'll have random numbers between zero and a thousand dollars. Now what's interesting is uh, if I did the exact same thing over here, I'll say equals rand between open parentheses zero comma one thousand close parentheses. Notice how I did the exact same formula and copied all the way down and we have different numbers because they are random numbers. All right, so the first way to do it is to use a function that's called rand. That gives you a number between 0 and uh, 1 and then you multiply that number by 100 and then you get your, your number or you, know, you take the integer of that. Uh, now a, a better way or a newer way is to do a function that's called rand between and then um, it, within the parentheses, I have 0, 1,000, which means I want a random number between 0 and 1,000. And that's how we can generate a random number in Microsoft Excel.